Hello, I'm Ray Motor from ACG, and welcome to another edition of the Hot Seat. Juniper is about to make an announcement in the service provider edge routing space, and joining us today is Senior Vice President from Juniper Networks, Mike Marcellin. Mike, thanks for joining the Hot Seat again. I think this is your second or third time. Always a pleasure. I appreciate it. And as you know, what we do in the Hot Seat is we get right to the point, mm -hmm. right? Uh, there's the MX, this is related to the MX, correct? Now, the MX has been around for some time now, quite a few years, and it's been positively received by quite a few carriers. What transformation is happening in the edge space that's driving some of these newer requirements? Yeah, that's a great question. And, uh, you know, certainly everyone is well aware of the advent of video and, and you know, rich media and the movement toward the cloud. And so those are the, those are the traffic changes that have been happening over the past few years with service providers. But the other big area that they're, that they're grappling with is their business model and how they drive new revenue. Right. You know, in the past, you know, the edge was used to drive, you know, VPNs, right. you know, for business right. customers or, you know, broadband or mobile subscribers and some, you know, base revenue that came from that. But more and more, they're looking for new revenue sources right. to drive up ARPU, to drive up the, the total revenue that they get to offset some of the challenges they have on the cost side. Uh, and so what we're really trying to do here with the entire MX platform is make sure that we're seizing on those trends, make sure we're giving them monetization opportunities, along with the scale and performance that they can always count on from Juniper. Right. Now, you talked about monetization. I mean, that's, I totally agree with you. I mean, new revenue is important, but how does the MX help in that situation? Well, actually, a couple of weeks ago, we made some announcements around a set of services that focus on the, the consumer market for, for service providers, as well as the business market. So we've looked at some ways that we can give them the opportunity to generate new revenue. And it all really starts with the MX. The MX is the center, centerpiece of our edge solution. And then on top of that, applications that can allow them to do digital ad insertion or content caching. And so um, you know, these, are, these are solutions that we can bring to bear on the MX platform that allow them to achieve those benefits. And so then what we did is we worked with Stanford University to model out what those benefits would mm -hmm. look like. Okay. And so we, we did a study of what it, what it looks like when they deploy the MX 2020 mm -hmm. uh, in a three screen video environment and how that can both drive up ARPU and then how that compares to other competitor solutions. Right. We did the same thing around cloud services for okay. business customers. So looking at those areas where we know their growth needs to come from mm -hmm. and then determining how the MX can support that. Right. Now you have competition in this space. Uh, how do the economics look in the TCO for this particular product? Well, that's something that actually we've been working with uh, some of your team on, and, right, and it's been right. really helpful to, to really look at that analysis and compare it to you know, the, the other solutions that are out there. And I'll tell you, the TCO stacks up extremely well. Mm -hmm. So when we look at you know, benefits of certainly you know, CapEx savings from the level of density and performance that we get from the MX 2020, those mm -hmm. are strong. Mm -hmm. OPEX savings from collapsing multiple services into a single device where, where our competitors often require separate appliances okay. to do um, you know, certain security services or dynamic subscriber awareness services. So those things all collapsed into a single device gives them real operational benefits. But the other thing that, that we found, which is maybe in some ways the most exciting, back to our um, you know, first uh, question, is the time to deploy new services mm -hmm in this type of environment is much faster. Right. And so, you know, if you're a service provider, yeah, it, it's, it's certainly important that I have lower CapEx, mm -hmm. certainly important that I manage my OpEx, but now if you're telling me that I can get services out 30, 40, 50% faster, then that's more months of revenue on new services right. um, and, and more ability to bring new services to the market, and that's huge for them. Right, yeah, service velocity and reduction in time to efficiency is vital. Now, just a two-part question. Could you just reiterate what's part of this announcement uh, and what the shipping date is? Sure. Um, so the announcement that we that we made this week is around the MX 2020. So mm -hmm. it's a, a new um, member of the MX family. Mm -hmm. um, but but you know as we think about where service providers need to go and scale for the next decade, um, we also always at Juniper look at investment protection. Mm -hmm. So it's important to note that the new MX 2020 leverages all the same MX 3D line cards that you can deploy across the entire MX line. So if you've been investing in that MX family, you can, you, and, and then you choose to go to the MX 2020, you can redeploy all those line cards. Right. That's not something that anyone else does. Okay. And so that's a huge amount of investment protection for them. So that's an important part and why you know, we think about this as you know, a, a family announcement. And all these services that we're talking about, they are available across the MX line. 
Um, of course, the Universal Edge also a part of that, so they can support mobile and broadband and, and uh, business customers. So um, you know, we really think that that's the centerpiece of the announcement. But the other thing I wanted to highlight about the announcement this week is we are announcing something called the Junos V App Engine. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, what that is, you know, we've talked for a number of years, and you know, with you and others about. Um, the ability to program the MX platform, you know, to use the SDK to bring new services on, and that's certainly been the case. Um, but the way that that has worked in the past is that you know you have to really take the application that you're trying to put onto the MX and really get into Junos and mm -hmm. really build in some pretty deep hooks with Junos. So it does right. take some time to do. Right. What the App Engine does is it allows you to take an application mm -hmm. in its native uh, operating system. Um, how it has been coded and very easily ported over to the MX. So in, in some ways it's like a hypervisor for the edge. Okay. So now you have massive flexibility and again back to the, the ability to deploy applications much more quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that you know we haven't seen anyone else okay. do in that way and, and so it really um, you know, proliferates this, this platform notion that we've always had with the MX. The MX is the platform, other applications are the things that are going to drive revenue for the service provider. So we'll be shipping the MX 2020 this quarter. This quarter. Uh, it's on the price list now, ready to ship this quarter. The MX 2010, which is its slightly smaller counterpart, right. is next quarter. So they're right, right on the heels of, of both of them. So you know, we're excited to, um, awesome. you know, to bring this to market. Yeah, well, you're officially off the hot seat. <laughs> thanks, Mike, sir. thanks. With another edition of the Hot Seat, Mike Marcellin. This is Ray Motor. Thank you very much.